Hi friends. Um, so I've been traveling now for, you know, about six months. And if, if you've been following the channel, you know that I have um, a inverter, battery, solar system, all that. And that it's pretty robust. And what I mean is I got a big honking inverter out there. It's a 3000 watt, 9000 watt peak inverter charger with a transfer switch which allows shore power and all that. But anyways, it's a it's a big inverter built for um, high wattage use. Now, do I always need that? No. And let me let me describe a situation and this has happened to me a number of times. I'm traveling, I'm driving. So I don't I don't ever leave the inverter system on when I'm driving. Um, I just don't do it. And I don't think it's a good idea to do that. So I, I'm traveling, I'm driving, maybe a whole day. And when I arrive to my nighttime destination, uh, I pull out my laptop and the battery's down. So now I have to turn on my inverter to give me AC power, to plug in my laptop charger, to charge my laptop so that I can use it. So that same kind of scenario where I'm turning on my whole system just for one device, uh, sometimes um, it's just the TV. It, you know, an example, when I, when I lay down at night, I turn on the TV. So I've got my system on, my inverter system, AC power, my TV's uh, AC powered. And all I'm using off the inverter is my TV. Now my TV is, it's a Vizio, it's, it's new, you know, it's modern is what I'm saying. I bought it right before I left New York. And so it's, it's a, you know, Energy Star compliant. I run it on the settings that are Energy Star that give it the, the greatest um, power savings, or I should say the, the least power draw. That's lefty. Um, so I'm running just my TV at night, but I have my whole system on. And so I started thinking to myself, what if I had a secondary AC system? And I've heard other people, I've seen some videos, I've read some stories where people have two systems. They have a big one, big system, and then they have a smaller secondary system. Do I need to turn on my 3000 watt inverter to run my 50 watt TV? No. Could I use a secondary smaller system to run my 50 watt TV? Yes. So I started looking around. Obviously there's a lot of inverters out there and I wanted an inverter. Really what I wanted was one that I didn't have to wire in. Okay, because, you know, I, I wired all these systems in this truck. They're set, you know, the wiring is, it's very um, purpose built. Um, to add a second system would require a lot of undoing and then add that second system. And I really don't want to do that. So then I started looking at uh, devices that were easy devices. There's, there's inverters out there and I settled on one, and I'll talk about it, where you just plug them into your 12-volt uh, power supply, and you have AC outlets now. Now, you know on my, my counter, I have some of the round, call them cigarette lighter style, 12-volt um, receptacles, and a lot of these, a lot of these, um, smaller inverters have that type of plug on them. So I've got them right here on my counter, right over the counter. So I said, okay, let me get one of these small inverters that's spec'd out to be able to run my 50 watt TV or maybe a little more, but specifically to run my 50 watt TV and that I can plug into one of these 12 volt outlets. And so that's what I settled on. 
let me grab the inverter here. So, and there's a lot of these out there, but I picked one and I've been using it for six, seven weeks off and on. And I like it. It's, I put it back in the box here so that I could show you in the video that I've taken it out of the box. Okay, exciting. So this is a uh, Sung Life, S-U-N-G-L-I-F-E. And like I said, it has the, the 12 volt cigarette lighter style plug on it. This gives you two 120 volt AC. In addition, and I didn't really think about this when I was looking at one of these, but yeah, why not? You get USB charging ports here. And then they even added a cigarette lighter style plug there. So if you're using your cigarette lighter adapter, you could still plug another cigarette lighter adapter style right into there. So talk about, like I said earlier, I didn't want to have to install and take apart my current system to install a new one. So this one, pretty simple to, to install in the truck. I just plug this into my, my uh, receptacle here and I plug my TV in here and it runs the TV, no problem. Now I've also used it with these USB ports. And what I found, one of these is labeled QC 3.0. 3.0, so that's your quick charge port, okay? And when I plug in my Samsung Galaxy phone into that quick charge port, it registers it as a quick charge and the phone charges on the quick charge time very fast. Now these other two are labeled 2.4 amp. I've plugged my same phone, same cable into these and they also charge it in the fast time. It doesn't say fast charging, but the time is exactly the same. So these are true 2.4 amp and this is a true three amp quick charge. And these do register as quick charge. Now keep in mind, you've got to use the right kind of USB cable. That's a that's something that I found early on. And I actually ordered recently a pack of assorted lengths of the, the USB, I think it's called USB 2, which gives you that higher uh, power flow. If you're using a previous version USB cable, even if you're plugged into a quick charge port, you're not gonna get the quick charge time. Lefty has his leash wrapped around the seatbelt holder, so I'm gonna go unhook him. You're a goof. Sorry about that. Okay. So again, make sure you're using good quality USB cables. I'll put a link in the description to the pack of cables that I bought. I think it was six cables in total, two, two short, two medium, two long. And so they I had the TV bam. plugged into this uh, Sung Life 150 watt inverter performed without a problem. Uh, I kept checking it for heat. It did not have any kind of excessive heat buildup. Um, I just had it laying on my countertop over there. So in, in those situations, for me, instead of powering on my main large system, this worked, this did exactly what I wanted it to do. So I used this thing for uh, four or five weeks and I sat down to uh, put, my, put my feedback on Amazon and I wrote a pretty detailed review of this thing. I, this one, this actually surprised me. I mean, it was not expensive. This is, this is entry level. Um, right now, I'm looking at the, the Amazon page right now. I, I'm a Prime member, which I'm sure a lot of you are too. And for a Prime, it's at $22.94 right now. And the company that is selling these, they contacted me. And they said that they liked my review. And to show their appreciation, they wanted to provide me a discount code for my YouTube viewers. In the conversation that I had with the sales rep, a really nice young lady, 
uh, told her that I have a YouTube channel, very small, but I have a, a pretty, pretty consistent group of people that are watching my videos and that some of them might be interested in this for their daily driving vehicle or for a secondary use like I'm doing here in, in the truck. So they gave me a discount code, Campulance. If you use that discount code on Amazon, you get 20% off. So uh, that's a fifth off. So you're talking about another four bucks off of that. So this thing would be under under 20 bucks, under 19 bucks um, with your you know Prime delivery if you're a Prime member with free delivery. So, um, but I'm not getting any kind of I'm not getting any kind of monetary gain from Song Life, just that discount code for you guys, and I wanted to pass that on. So even if one of you buys this thing uh, and likes it, I'll be happy, okay? All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.